Uh, yeah, I think he'll be ready tomorrow. He's uh, hit off the tee yesterday and then some, some soft toss flip, and he was letting it go pretty good. Running wise, he still kind of holds his arm in a little bit, but mm -hmm. I think today uh, he'll he'll hit live on the field in practice tonight. And we'll run the bases um, and see how he see how he looks. But I, I'm thinking he's going to be okay. What about Costa Shock and Vermillion? Costa Shock is good to go. Vermillion, I think, is going to be okay. Scroggins should be good to go. Uh, Vermillion would be the biggest question mark. It, I mean, it might be 50-50 on him, and uh, we'll, we'll just. Yeah, we don't know yet on him. How does it feel to have your pitching staff looking like it's pretty healthy after having to sit some guys out? Well, it's it's uh, it's really good to get uh, Scroggins back, and probably just one time this weekend. You know, if he's a reliever, you know, maybe he can go two or three innings. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll just be one inning, but it'll be a big inning. So, uh, Costi's fine. You know, he threw. He he's. You know, we're trying to build him up a little bit again, but uh, it feels good. You know, I mean. Hopefully we can keep these guys healthy. It's just the way the season works. And we've had one guy here and one guy there. Um, and we fought through it. We've had guys step it up and pitch well or we scored runs or whatever it took to get through the weekend. Would you, you, you go with up there and looked at the Kentucky ballpark, but mm -hmm. what are your thoughts about actually playing in it this weekend? Yeah, I mean it's a really nice park. Uh, you know, it's it's like Vandy, it's a hundred percent uh, field turf. It's quick from what we've heard we'll find out tonight how quick that surface is and, um, and you know the ballpark itself looks nice um, it's just good for our league I mean these nice ballparks it's, it's you know the other ballpark was a little bit older had a real short fence and right and it just seemed like it uh, stayed wet all the time uh, it rains a lot up there and I think this is probably a real good move for them with Campbell any you know, I guess his first not great outing that he's had all year. Any concerns coming off that at all? No, I mean, if uh, you know, if he has another outing or two where he doesn't go real good. Although, you know, you got to give Mississippi State credit and Tennessee credit. They they both are good teams and they can swing the bat. And uh, you know, you think back on this past weekend against Tennessee, you're thinking about uh, you know, umpire for the first four or five innings, the zone was real small, and then all of a sudden it kind of changed. Um, we even talked about if you know if, if Campbell and their starter would have pitched the, the you know maybe the second four or five innings or the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, it might have been a different story for both of them. But uh, you know I, I don't his stuff's good, his velocity's good, so hopefully I'll get out of him all. And yeah, Wicklander and Noah, I assume. Yeah, Wicklander's right. for sure going <clears throat> game two, and I think that game three we left at TBA. Uh, but if everything's good and and if we get into a slugfest two days in a row, we need to try to win a game or two. We'll we'll throw Nolan out there. But if uh, all goes good, you know, or you know, we don't get it doesn't get crazy using all our pitch, and then he'll he'll start game three. Is so that where Scroggins could be a starter if Nolan has to pitch relief? Yeah, he could. You know, either way, we'll flip those two. I think that really this weekend, though, uh, you know, Nolan's a guy that we think could, could could go longer. Possibly he's in shape. You know, we want to probably take Cody more than two to, two to three innings and unless he just felt great, which, you know, he says he is, but he's going to want to push it. As well as things have gone the last couple of weeks, you're going to face a team that's 500 overall and 5 and 16 in conference. Yeah. Just trying not to have a letdown. Yeah, I don't I don't think we have a letdown. Um, if we get beat, we get beat. I, I think that, you know, Kentucky is a little dangerous. You know, when you look at, I mean, this is a team that I think went to the Minute Maid Classic at the beginning of the year and won all three games. Beat some really good people and Got off to a great start, and then uh, it just kind of it kind of unraveled a little bit, and it happens. I mean, you know, it happened to us in 16 at the end of the season, and uh, you know that. But they bounced back a little bit. You know, they won two out of three at Old Miss two weeks ago, and then or maybe it's three weeks ago. I'm not sure. And then last weekend, you know, they won a game at Florida and played another close one. So, you know, it's it's the SEC. Everybody's good. These kids are recruited from all over the country, and we know almost all the kids on their roster and have seen him, so we know what they can do. They're at home, they're parked, so, you know, we, we just have to play well. How so much confidence do you guys have right now, the way, you're, the way you've been playing? Well, I'm confident in our team. I, to me, the team seems very confident, and they don't seem to get rattled. You know, if it doesn't go good tomorrow night, then we'll, we'll try to get them on Saturday. Um, same with Sunday. I, I think there's a lot of confidence because We've, we found different ways to beat you. We beat you with really good pitching. We beat you with, you know, pretty good defense most of the time. And 
we've been scoring some runs. You automatically plug Goodhart back at DH, or do you think about using Harlan's son? It's Goodhart's job. Um, he, he'll definitely get back in there. I mean, he was he was really hot when he got hurt, so we, we want to get him going again. You look at Kentucky came in here last year riding high. I think they're ranked fourth. You guys swept them, and I think since then they're 500 overall last year and this year. They didn't make the tournament. I mean, do you feel like you guys kind of took it out of them last year and they maybe haven't recovered yet? Or? I don't think we did. I, I think that they had some they had some injuries. They had injuries with their pitching staff because they had a, an older pitching staff that uh, it seemed like one or two of them was missing a lot of the weekend starts pretty much from that weekend on. and. One of their top hitters was out, and they and you know last year's team for them was an older team, and they lost a lot of those kids, and they had a lot of junior college transfers in there that actually had good offensive years. Uh, the pitching um, was something that I think they felt like was going to be a little better last year as a staff, and it didn't happen, and they lost a lot of high scoring games, but they lost a guy, a lot of guys to the draft and uh, graduation and. You know, they've had to have a few guys step it up this year, and I think it's been a little bit up and down for them. But, you know, they have a good program, a good team, and, you know, they're like anybody else in this league. They can get hot and they can get after you. Their lefty, Thompson, didn't pitch against you all last year. What do you know about him? Just really good pitcher. You know, potentially first-round draft choice. Uh, you know, can pitch 92, 96. <clears throat> Got a really good curveball. And... Uh, you know, he's he's their guy. He's the guy that got to get that, that they feel has to get him a win every weekend. It looks like he's pitching Saturday, not Friday. How, how do you feel about that? Well, that's where they've been throwing him. Uh, it's not like they changed anything. They threw him last Saturday. Then the weekend before that, I'm pretty sure it was Saturday. And you know, he missed a couple weeks in there as well, so that hurt him. And once they got him back, um, you know, he's been pretty good. I've had people ask me this: Is this team as good as last year's team? Or how I, would you compare it to the? You know, how well, if you're just looking point? at numbers, you know, really, uh, I haven't laid two, two stats each out there because I really don't care, to be honest with you. I know this team is fun to coach. Uh, they show up every day and play. They're younger than last year's team. But, you know, I think time will tell. We're, we're still a work in progress. And, uh, you know, if we stay healthy, we've got a chance to have a pretty good year. Right now it's going pretty good, but I don't get all carried away with it. You guys are obviously in great shape right now, but like I said, you got nine counter games left. Does this team do a good job of not looking ahead and kind of staying in the moment like you guys want? Well, I, I, we haven't talked about anything except, you know, after the game on Tuesday night, we talk about playing Kentucky on Friday and, you know, another SEC series. We don't talk about where we're at or what we got to do. These kids are smart. They, they've got it. They, they know what's up. So we don't have to try to throw anything on them or, you know, put extra pressure on them. We're just playing. We're where we projected to finish in the league third, fourth, fifth, depending on who you look at, and you know, it could still happen. But uh, you know, we just we're just going to go out there and do the best we can to try to win a series on the road, and you know, just just keep playing well. If you play well, you got a chance to win. Sometimes you just get outplayed, or somebody just plays better. And uh, you know, our our focus is us. That's what we talk about all the time. We don't care what anybody else is doing or how they feel about us or if they're mad at us or if they have extra motivation against us. If we just take care of our business, we throw the ball over the plate, we feel, we get some timely hits, we can beat anybody. How much do you think Ramage would be available after you hit him a cheat through on Tuesday? Yeah, he, he'll be uh, he'll be available Saturday. Uh, we won't use him tomorrow and uh, if we need to use him Saturday, we will. If not, he'll be, he'll be ready to go on Sunday and then after that, obviously, we don't play until next Thursday and it's amazing, you know, once we start playing this weekend, the regular season's over in two weeks. You know, you, you squeeze nine games in and 14, 15 day period, and then, you know, you're off to the tournament. We just took tomorrow, it's the last official day of class, I think. We start finals, and, uh, you know, I think the guys are relieved. They just get those finals over next week. But, uh, you know, the season to me personally has really gone by fast, maybe faster than any season I can ever remember. What do those days look like? for your guys when they do have finals coming yeah. up. I mean, it seems uh, like they're probably got a lot going on. We'll give them off next Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So we get back Wednesday, obviously. Or excuse me, we get back Sunday night, Sunday afternoon late. Uh, we'll give them uh, all day Monday and all day Tuesday off. Now, pitchers need to throw a bullpen. Mm -hmm. it, you know, they have to tell us when they can do it. We'll meet them down here. Um, it's not like we have to give them a day off, but we always do. Let them study. A lot of them have their you know, their finals knocked out by midweek. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have an official practice 
on Wednesday, but if someone has a, and we'll figure, we don't even know what time yet. We'll figure that out. I don't know the, the, the test schedule. We'll be out there the, at the time that works best for the most players to be out there. If we have to practice at night or if we have to practice at 11 in the morning, we'll do that. If someone can't be out there, they have two finals that day or whatever, then we'll meet them and get their work in. Um, and then, I, you know, a lot of times we'll give them Wednesday off if we don't play till Friday. Mm -hmm. Since we play Thursday, we'll definitely have a team practice on, on Wednesday. What about when you're on the road? I mean, are they in their rooms? Yeah, they, you know, they're, they're in, type stuff. Oh, yeah, they're bringing, they have help and, uh, you know, they, they know what they need to do and uh, you know, whatever they have to do to prepare for those finals. And, you know, when you think about it, they're going to have all day Friday to do that if they need to. And then after the game or, you know, two afternoon games, the afternoon game on Saturday, got all Saturday evening. And then a lot of guys will be studying on the way back, obviously. And, you know, they'll be ready to go. Does the season go faster when you're scoring 15 runs every game? You know, I, I would probably does. I don't know. Uh, I just know that. I just think that our offense has been doing a really nice job of, you know, staying in the in the moment. Uh, we've taken our walks. I mean, we're I think we're second in the league in walks, and we can't say that too much around here. The last few years, we've, you know, we're, we've cut our strikeouts down some, and our walks are way up. I think uh, we're hitting we're hitting doubles, which are nice. We have two guys that are tied for first in the SEC with 19 doubles each, and I think the next guy is at 17, and we have two of them. So. Um, it's been it's just been a it's been a nice uh, approach offensively. I think Kentucky gives up a lot of walks too, so I guess patience is a big thing. I think patience is a good is a great thing in any time and just about anything you do. But it, as far as offensively, if you're patient and we have been and stay in the zone, you're going to get pitch counts up. You're going to get better pitches to hit, and uh, I think our offense has done a nice job doing that. Mark? No. Is there any 